Uh, that one was hard. I'm not going to lie. Um, really, really proud of uh, the Marlock and Mark's got a terrific basketball team. And it's uh, uh, playing as well as anybody in the country, to be quite honest. And, and uh, uh, you know, it was, uh, uh, as I would classify, just a good, hard fought Big Ten basketball game. And uh, it wasn't very pretty. I think both teams struggled offensively. Uh, but that's what happens when you get two very good defensive teams. Um, and it came down to a little bit of uh, a little bit of luck on a broken play. That a very good player who's playing at an extremely high level. That's what four-year seniors do. Uh, that are really good players. Callen throws one in from 30. And uh, unfortunately, we played for the last play. And, and uh, the guy I'll give the ball to uh, quite often. Uh, last year, he was the same kid. He made a lot of big buckets in isolation plays uh, in the game in, in New York. And uh, uh, just kind of fumbled it and go for a loose ball and called a foul. And, and uh, uh, tough, tough. But I am extremely proud of our team. I know we can come in here and, uh, and do that. Uh, to this Maryland team, uh, and, uh, then, then we're going to be uh, in, a, in a nice position. We grew up tonight, and, and I'm extremely proud of it. If you've been hurt in a truck crash, call the Jackledge Law Group. We have decades of experience handling truck crashes. We recognize issues unique to trucks, including black box findings and DOT regulations. We find insurance others don't know exists. Some think the only coverage is with the truck, yet we've found millions more insurance with the broker. It's important to collect information, find representation immediately. Truck cases are complex. If you've been hurt in a truck crash, call 855 Big Dog One right now. When you talk about the matchup between Georgie and Jalen underneath the basket and what you saw on Daryl, especially that last time. Well, I mean, it's, I'm going to go to Georgie nine out of ten times, and uh, uh, you know, Georgie's a guy that uh, you know has been able to get a lot of baskets against a lot of people, and, and we feel good with him, you know, one on one, and, and uh, uh, you know that was I'll, I'll get Georgie on the block against uh, anybody in the country in time, and it just so happens, you know, Smith did a great job; he's an elite defender, and uh, did a heck of a job. <clears throat> Much better start today than Monday, and double still double on that start. Well, no, just what didn't translate made as well in the second half. I think we played better. Uh, and, you know, it doesn't have, you know, it doesn't have anything to do with how we start, or you know, it's it's about how you how you play. It's good defense, great defense. I mean, um, you know, they they were we had a had a Kofi in foul trouble. You know, it's games wear on. Uh, you know, you, you will tell me that we held the team to 33%. Uh, I'm going to be happy most nights. And uh, again, uh, give them credit. They did a great job. They, they, they started switching everything with our smaller lineup. Uh, we got stagnant a little bit. Uh, but uh, uh, again, it's, you know, I'll, I'll take get the ball to, to, to Georgia on the block three or four times, and, and I'll take my chances every single night with that. made two shots the last 12 and a half minutes. What do you think went into those offensive struggles and also? Their like, defense. Yeah. They got, a, they got the, one of the best defenders in the country. They've got six, six wings. Um, make sure you ask Turge, too, why they didn't score against us. Uh, great defense. That's it. Hard fought game. Derek, hard fought game. It's a grind it out game. Not, every, not everybody's going to look pretty every single night. You didn't play Georgie and Kofi together at the end. They both had four fouls. Were you thinking you needed one for overtime, possibly? We were so good defensively that thinking about the overtime didn't have anything to do with it. Thinking, thinking about what, what we were getting defensively. Uh, you know, Jalen Smith steps out and hits a three. Give him a lot of credit. He made four on the year. Uh, you played percentages, and, and he, made it, he, made it, he made a tough shot. Uh, and then. You know, Cowan throws one in. We were in a great rhythm defensively, and I didn't want to mess that up. Kofi had set for a long, long time. He picked up a couple of fouls with pushing and shoving, uh, and we didn't want to put them on the line because of those things. So 
uh, a lot more goes into it than than, than just that, and, and uh, that's why we made that decision. <coughs> Ron, how do you feel like your team handled the moment with a big lead? You know, the crowd gets into it, and, and they kind of make a run. They're good. We told them, we've told our guys that everybody everybody in this league is going to make a run at home. Uh, and when you have quality teams, I thought we were terrific. I thought we got the shots that, that, that for the most part, we have one or two possessions I, I, I didn't like. But um, like I said, I thought we handled the moment. I thought we stayed, our togetherness, our connectivity was excellent. Uh, and it was just a night that instead of the score being 100 to 90, it was 59 to 58. And, and it was an ugly game. And, and I could not be proud of, of my guys. I am. There was a lot of tears in there. Uh, there was a lot of, 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 of hurt. And that makes me feel good. That makes me, that we, I know we're on the right page. And, and that's something that uh, uh, we fight like that. I on the floor for loose balls. Maryland's uh, number three in the country for a reason. And uh, uh, we, grew, we grew up a lot to do. He's kippered quite a bit more off the benches. What did he show you tonight where you wanted him? Well, he was competing. He was competing at a really high level. I mean, you know, there was a there was a goaltend call that, that, that he had that uh, I wasn't sure about at the time, and and uh, but Kipper hadn't been making those plays, and uh, you know, Kipper's a talented offensive guy, and, and uh, you know, steps up and hits a three, and, and uh, uh, you know, I feel good with him in that in that post up area. He's a guy that can can be really productive in there, so I thought a big big step for Kipper tonight. <coughs> mentioned, you know, how you know, the NBA Count Junior against you guys has hit, you know, shots and things like that, but did you see any sort of progression from him tonight, just the way he was sharing the ball and, and rebounding? Yeah, that is one of the elite guards in the country. And, uh, and then you look at his numbers in comparison to last year, which we did, uh, you know, he's playing so much better in terms of shooting the ball better, his, his assist to turnover ratio is much better, uh, and that he's one of the elite defenders when, when that young man wants to guard, which he, he, he set out and guarded tonight. When he, when he wants to guard now, he's as good as anybody in the country on that end of the court. So uh, I told him after the game, he's playing as well as anybody in the country and, and, and anybody in this league. And, and again, it's, it's, it's a tribute to who he is. It's what a senior does. Senior, senior steps up and makes big shots and make, makes big plays. And, and Mark's got to be really proud of that young man. Right. Probably we're a fourth of the way through the season now. Kind of seems crazy. We're at this point already. Where do you feel like your team is at, and what's the next step into beating a high major? Part? After after tonight, I feel great. After tonight, I feel great. And I, you know, I, it's it's on to the next. I, I don't worry about too much more than the next game on the schedule. Um, been nice to walk out of here with a win. Uh, unfortunately, we we've, we've got a tough flight home, but. Uh, uh, again, I, I like exactly where we're at. I think the progression was was there. I think now our guys have something they can they can believe in. And and for us, it was it was preparation. And uh, you know the job we did the last two days in practice and the dialed in uh, that we were with with scout and report things. So uh, you know preparation is key for us. I feel great about it. Brad, last time you were in this building, you had a tough loss. Um, and thanks for reminding me. No, no. Uh, in terms of what Cowan did in his late, the way he took over late, does that bring back um, what, what Trimble used to do for them? Yeah, Trimble's was the flop of all time, though. Uh, <laughs> that was, he didn't even have the ball when they called the foul. So at least this kid had to make the basket. So I'll go with that one every day over Trimble's throw the ball up and get the foul call. Um, no, that was a heck of a game, too. It was, that one was different because both teams offensively played at a really, really high level. Tonight it was just the, the flip side of that. And uh, again, give, uh, give Mark and his crew a lot, a lot of credit because they never quit, they never gave up, and, and uh, uh, they did, but they showed why they're number three in the country. Sorry for reminding me. Yeah, I appreciate it. Okay. This didn't have an effect on the end of the game, but make the change at the start with DeMonte, you know, sorry. Andres coming off the bench. What do you feel like maybe that gave you in the first half? Better matchups um, is the main reason. We, we, we looked at doing that. It, it kicked Io uh, more off the small forwards. Uh, I'm a huge 
fan of Wiggins, and then he's been playing great. Uh, I like that matchup with DeMonte. And then being able to slide, uh, being able to slide Io on, uh, on Ayala. Uh, but, to, you know, and then I like the productivity. You know, it's, it's not new. Excuse me, it's not new for Dre. Come off the bench. He was so productive last year. I thought he was as good a player in, in Big Ten play off the bench as it was, and, and uh, he proved that again today. All right, thank you. Illinois players will be available outside the locker room.